It's time for me to put on my Teacher K hat again. I have some more light bill mats for you. Today, class, we're looking at how to calculate the taxes on your light bill. Now, this was a question from the comment section of my Money Mondays JA video, How to Understand Your Light Bill. If you haven't seen that video yet, you can click the link up here or in the description box below if you're watching this on YouTube. Big up to Cedric and Natalie for pointing this out. You guys both asked, how do they arrive at the taxable and non-taxable figure? Now, I'll be honest, this one really had me just scratching my head like, what? I was literally up all night trying to figure out how they arrived at the taxable charges. Now, I love a match challenge, so I couldn't stop until I figured it out. It was really bugging me. So grade one CXC mats in third form, guys. Hey! But Natalie R., you were right. It just wasn't adding up. So I contacted JPS to find out and they sent me an initial response and it still wasn't adding up. Finally, I was able to jump on a Zoom call and show them exactly what I meant and what Natalie meant. So they contacted their billing department and now I'm happy and relieved to say that I have the formula to share with you. Now, first of all, for business customers, the tax calculation is easy. You pay GCT on everything you consume. GCT, of course, stands for General Consumption Tax, and the rate is 15%. But for residential customers, it gets trickier. The first thing you need to know is that your first 150 kilowatt hours are tax-free. So if you use less than that, you actually pay no tax. And if you use more, then you only pay GCT on your consumption above 150. So let's look at this light bill right here. This is where you see your usage, energy first and energy next. Energy first is the first 100 kilowatt hours that you use for the month. It's charged at a standard lower rate and it isn't taxed. Everything else falls under energy next, which is charged at a higher rate. The first 50 kilowatt hours of energy next are also tax free. So like I said, in total, you get 150 kilowatt hours tax free. So on this bill, you have 95 kilowatt hours under energy next, 95.85 actually. You take out the first 50, which is not taxed, and that leaves you with 45.85 kilowatt hours, which is the portion that they're going to tax you on. You multiply that by the rate. Now this is the rate over here, $22.49 per kilowatt hour, and you are gonna get 1,000 $31.17. Now this is where I got lost initially because if you look down here, the taxable charges are actually $2,092.08, but we just got $1,000 and change. So where does this extra $1,000 come from? I tried adding some of these other things on the bill like the customer charge, the foreign exchange adjustment, the fuel and IPP charge, and it just still wasn't adding up to $2,092.08. And that's where we had to call in JPS and they came through with the explanation. So I already explained how you get the first $1,031.17. The next step is to multiply that by the foreign exchange adjustment rate, which is actually 5.62%. See, I was trying to add in this $200.58 from the FX adjustment, but that's not actually how you do it. You need to multiply your consumption over 150 kilowatt hours by the FX adjust rate. And in this example, we'll multiply $1,031.17 by 0 0.0562. And this is the percentage expressed as a decimal. So move the percent the decimal point two places and you get your uh, your percentage yeah so this gives us fifty seven dollars and ninety five cents and that brings us to one thousand eighty nine dollars and twelve cents when you add these two up but we're still off right because remember the number on the bill was two thousand dollars and change so here's the final portion to the calculation you have to add in a portion of this fuel and ipp charge and the portion that we're gonna add is everything above 150 kilowatt hours. So the same 45.85 kilowatt hours that we got earlier, we're gonna multiply that by this rate, 
$21.87 per kilowatt hour. And that gives us $1,002.92. So now let's add all three components of the taxable charges. One, our consumption over 150 kilowatt hours, which came up to $1,031.17. Two, the foreign exchange adjustment, which is $57.95. And three, the fuel and IPP charge, which is $1,002.92. And there we finally have it, $2,092.07. Voila! those are your taxable charges it's off by one set because we've been rounding off the numbers jps's system doesn't round off the numbers it's just done by the computers and now that we have our taxable charges we multiply that by the 15 percent gct rate and gct 15 percent of the decimal is 0 0.15 and we get 313 dollars and 81 cents then finally, we add up our non-taxable charges, our taxable charges, and our GCT, and we get our total, $8,365.45. And there we have it. Our light bill actually makes sense after all. Complicated, yes, but there is method to this madness. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below, and stay tuned. Taking Stock resumes right now.